Hi Leos, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. I love to see that you prefer me. But we're about to hop right into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. So let's get into this reading, Leo. I know it's been a minute since I've done a reading with you all, but the engagements were getting low, okay? So make sure you all hit that like button. Subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. Dislike the video if you don't like it. I don't care. But make sure you're engaging. Also, send some donation if that's if that's what you want to do to um, show your support. My cash app is down below. And remember to book your personal readings if you would like one. So most important messages for the sign of Leo, please and thank you. Most important messages for the sign of Leo. We have the page of Source Energy watching. I feel like I'm super bright, but I'm going to just go with it. Um, so we have the Page of Swords, Watching, Lurking, Studying, Temperance card, the Death card, the Star card. Damn, I mean, excuse me. We have a whole lot of majors here. We have the Temperance card, Sage. We have the Death card, Scorpio. We have the Star card, Aquarius. The Lovers card, Gemini. So someone's hoping and wishing for a relationship. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune energy under the, underneath there or in, in the middle of the deck. More messages for the sign of Leo. We have the Tower card. Look no more. Something finds out. Someone finds out something that surprises them or something happens or you. Yeah, if something fa someone find, finds out something that surprises you or someone realizes something or you, re you receive some type of information that helps you relax. More message. Yeah, something is coming in for you. More messages for Leo. Some of you all may have that coming in for you. I don't know what it is, but someone may have something coming in for them. So we have the Three of Swords energy, hurt, heartbreak, and pain. Hopefully, this energy of the tower is towering that energy out. We have the Lovers card, a relationship, and then success. Then I seen blocking. So someone could have been blocking a successful relationship or you felt like you blocked a, a successful relationship believe me if it was meant to succeed it will seven of swords no five of swords someone trying no five of swords is um like getting over on someone it could be an argument someone's frustrated there the temperance card patiently waiting for something then we have the strength card so you've been waiting waiting for a while or you've been trying to control your temper even though you've been ready to go off you feel trapped you feel trapped something about learning a lesson I guess you're in a situation where you're having to maybe feel like you're having to learn some type of lesson there's the lesson tower let me get more information do I get another row or just start clarifying? Let's see. What's the page of swords? A uh, book. It's a lesson. It's a test. That's why. So we have the devil card, the, the nine of pentacles, the four of pentacles, and a hangman. So someone is like a, um, a, your independence is being challenged. Four of pentacles. Someone maybe it's like an energy trying to pull you back. Hanging man, seeing things differently or just feeling trapped. Like I just said, you feel trapped or feeling stuck. Doing something that you want to do, like that you want to do, you feel like it's on pause. It's on. It's that's what's causing the um. Like you feel restricted. You you feel restricted. The Knight of Swords, the Page of Wands energy, is some information that's coming in. Someone that makes you happy. So what's the Tower card? I'm telling you, I think that's what this Tower card has to do with. Eight of Pentacles, your work. Something that makes you happy. You've been working on something. I think something happens where you re you receive some information or you're looking into some things and you're like, oh, bam. I think this could work out. Even though, and I think that helps tower out these energies of um, hurt, heartbreak, and pain, being frustrated and feeling sh and feeling trapped. Nine of Wands don't give up. So what's the Three of Swords energy? We have the Three of Pentacles collaboration. You were working with someone. We have the Emperor card. Something isn't working out with the person you were working with. Someone who you created a family with or foundation with or attempted to create a foundation with. However, it, was, it doesn't necessarily have to be a uh, romantic relationship. What's the Five of Swords? The King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is kind of coming out re in reverse. So something like someone's wish-fulfilling situation is almost falling apart at this moment. Six of Cups, nothing is the same. Judgment, Two of Two of Cups. Eight of Swords, you've been trapped in a situation, feeling trapped in a connection. You feel like you have no choice but to love a person, but things are falling apart. 
What's the devil card? Let's go back. What's the devil card? We have the queen of pentacles. I'm telling you, it's like an energy trying to keep you from moving forward or uh, knowing your value. But it's all a test probably because I'm getting this energy maybe just um, to see if you're ready or your willpower. What's the hangman? Mental entrapment. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Ten of Swords, closing out a painful cycle and being afraid, moving forward, taking control of your life. Abundance, justice, justice coming in. <sighs> Wheel of Fortune. Y'all, that wheel is going to turn regardless. And I feel like it's just an illusion as to what's going on with you right now. Maybe someone feels like something that is, is already supposed to be like um, um, up and going. Things are already supposed to be turned around for you. You've been putting in a lot of work. You know your worth. You know your, some of you all are self-sufficient. You can make things happen for yourself. But it's some type of illusion or some type of, yeah, illusion to make you feel trapped and fearful of moving forward. Or if you or have you feeling like you would not ever progress? Let me see. Let me get more messages for Leo as I move forward. I feel like I need to get more cards out here. More messages for the sign of Leo. I'm hearing that song. That's unfortunate. Um, Trey song that you didn't believe in me. So so it's unfortunate that you didn't believe in me. That's maybe has you're gonna be feeling in the future, or it's just this energy. It's some I don't feel like sending that song right now because my throat is dry. But judgment card is um making that choice and decision. It's time to make that call here. Temperance card, strength card. This the time is now. I heard the time is now. Nothing was the same. I don't know what that last one that I just said. I'm hearing a lot of little terms for you all. More for more for Leo before I move forward. We have the page of wands. We have the page of swords up there. You're going to be excited. I feel like I'm telling you some type of information that comes in. Or something happens suddenly. Maybe when you're working, you're focused, meditating or something like that. Something makes you happy. Love is cards, the choice that you made in order to create some type of success for yourself. You remember I said something like it's like maybe someone was blocking out a relationship, but maybe you feel like um I said something that being blocked from a successful relationship. Or maybe you blocked yourself. Maybe someone was thinking that they blocked themselves from a successful successful relationship or the possibility of um Okay, there we go. I'm also getting here it is all of the work that you've done. It hasn't gone unnoticed or something like that as well. Guarding and protecting yourself so that you can go towards brand new beginnings as well. Manifesting like someone's manifesting also um, uh, financial success as well. Like turning the page of pentacles energy into the king of pentacles energy. If it has something to do with relationship, it's like starting off, starting off fresh in a relationship that can lead to something that leads uh, to commitment or whatnot. More messages here. My hands feel. Hold on. Let me put a little bit more at, lotion on. More messages for Leo. The Queen of Swords. So we have the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords energy here. Yeah, learn. <laughs> I like the way these cards are being set up. Someone learned these lessons. And I feel like I said something about learning the lessons. You had to the test or something like that. You had to learn some things. You have to overcome some things here. You have to become knowledgeable um, when it comes down to you working things out or collaborating with, with individuals or being in situations where you decide to collaborate and it's only hurting you. Being in competition with people and trying to work with those people. Or realizing those people in competition with you and you didn't even know it, those type of energies. Some things you just have to learn some things, right? So I have to learn about procrastination. More messages here for Leo, High Priestess. Following your intuition, you're receiving a whole lot of divine knowledge, um, downloads, and insights. Nine of Cups and Seven of Cups. Yeah, they're waiting a long time. Someone was confused as to where where their happiness, where's their happiness, where their happiness is coming from, where this wish fulfillment is coming from. But it's like having to know 
to love yourself regardless even when things were turned upside down type of energy as well what's the judgment card what's the judgment card the temperance card be patient as you manifest and create inspirations here doing a different doing, doing things a little bit different differently when it comes down to what it is that you're inspired to do ah right, hold on wait you might be called you might be called to do something differently here okay you're inspired to, you're you you may be inspired to do something but it's completely differently it, it's completely different from what you've always always done okay something like that so five of pentacles yes yeah, someone may be afraid of the lack thereof energy though was mm, or someone have been waiting a long time without like going without what's the page of wands What's the page of wands, Leo? The King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a bossing up situation. This is also, um, so this could be a new person coming into your life or whatnot that can be willing to commit commit in the future. But I feel like someone took a risk, took a chance. You were you were inspired to do something when it comes down to your financial stability here. It was new to you. But it looks like things will eventually work out or it's working out. Yeah, you waited a long time. I'm telling you, it was almost as if you didn't know where, why, how, how things was going to work out. What's the Queen of Swords? But it was about controlling your emotions even when things were flipped upside, upside down and when you were frustrated, when you felt trapped. What's the Queen? What's this Queen of Swords energy? Eight of Cups walking away. Learning how to walk away as well. I was talking about that, like when you're collaborating with, with people that it, where it's a struggle, deciding to work with people when you know that they're hurting you, deciding to work with people when you know it, and not even knowing that they're in competition with you, those type of situations, if it's not worth it and it's causing you strife, heartbreak, pain, walk away from it, F them, six of, yeah, at one point in time, you used to want to marry those situations, like, oh no, I could fix it, I can make it work, those type of energies, and I see, it's like no one wants to walk away. No one wants to walk away. Chill. So, what's the high priestess? Do I take the... Yeah. I guess so. This is the way it came and I'll take it. It is what it is. But I was just talking about these cards. So, clarifying the high priestess is the knight of pentacles, the nine of swords, and the two of, two of swords. Not knowing the where, the winds, the hows, the whys, the what's... You're not knowing. Not knowing. But you having to just know that everything is going to be okay. <laughs> High priestess, be cool, be smooth, but it'll be all right. So the Ten of Pentacles, look at that. Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. The hard times will be sown over. Facing your fears. Being the abundant you, knowing your worth. Controlling, being in control of your life and pushing forward. Justice coming into your life and you having new opportunities because you learn new things. I have a few more clarifies. Actually, I just have this one. What's the temperance card? Before we move on to the advice. What's the temperance card? Four of Cups. Hmm. So, oh uh, yeah. Rejecting the last and the BS. If someone is not being honest or serious when coming to you, you can make that choice and decision. Say, nope, I don't want to deal with you. Because you learned so much up until this point. So why not take advantage of what you've learned and know, know when to reject things when it's not worth it? Appreciate what you already have and also recognize when opportunities come. Seven of Swords, the Hermit card. I need one this Four of Cups. What's that Four of Cups? The Moon card and the Empress card. The Justice card. Clear my energy, please. Do I already have one? Yeah, I already have one right here. Um, the moon card, the empress card, someone's afraid to be in a committed relationship, afraid to be a mother, afraid to be abundant, it's a level of fear connected to this, just, yeah, new beginnings, opportunities, what's the moon card, why is the moon card here, what's the moon card, uh, you know what? It could be like, ah, uh, whatever. This won't ever be successful. Ah, uh, whatever. This is all it is. Type of energy. Knight of Cups. Have compassion towards yourself. What's the, um, in your past, what's the Empress card? You can have better. Death card. And rebirth on the sad, sad ways. Change and transform. Excuse me, my bad. Change and transformation. 
what's the death and rebirth card excuse me i need to figure out more on that as well so that's how the death and rebirth card the nine of wands Oh, this is the energy of not giving up right in the midst of change. I believe that's what that is. Avoiding giving up right in the midst of change. So, Because look at this card. She, this is the Empress card. She's pregnant. And it's not as if that she, she can't put or that she won't push. She's going to have to push that energy out, right? She's going to have to push it out. You can't just give up right at the end. Right at the point of, of pushing type of energy. Let me see what's the advice. But knowing or making that call or decision when or when not to reject things. There's something else connected to that as well. But what's the advice here? The Six of Swords, you're moving on. From trying to control the situation that's already, um, so it's already full of sorrow. Wow. Something has to end here. I wish I could go deep into this, but I feel like, like I'll be sitting here for another 20 something minutes or something like that. But maybe let's see. Clear my energy. That's self explanatory up there, but I feel like it's something else over here. The Hierophant, the Two of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Fool card. The Hierophant, the Two of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and this Fool card, the Hermit card, the Queen of Cups. Emotional connection, new beginning, inspiration, taking a different approach to spirit right there. I can't catch it right now. I don't even feel like trying to... Um, if it's not coming to me right now, then maybe it's not meant to even really talk about. I get messages out for you all. Ain't no reason to go deeper. That's why I feel like I'm being called. So do just leave it alone. Um, check on the energy letter. It is what it is. So, let's pull a message from the Goddess Power deck. I think I just wanted to give y'all some messages. Whatever. Hopefully y'all enjoyed them and made some type of sense. So I just feel like I just threw myself off. And maybe my background just threw me off. I don't know. But most important message for the sign of Leo. And I'm out of here. Alright. Most important message for the sign of Leo. You might get a bonus. It depends. Green Tower. Salvation. Then we have Mama Coach at the bottom of the deck. Water. So here we go. Let's read it. I think I want to stick some more personals. <laughs> Woo! Because baby, trying to tap into all these uh, energies is, could be crazy and overwhelming. So, the divine has intended you into being and giving you the assignment to explore life through certain perceived limitations. You are meant to learn about life and all its complexities. Especially learning about how, how to be a communion with um community with others green tara of tibetan goddess also known as she who saves said that you will never be alone in life's journeys in life's journey this compassionate savior goddess of intimate friendship will ensure that the right people will show up for you at the right time green tara will remind you that your needs will always be met you don't need to know the how wow as i'm seeing that i thought that I feel like I was overwhelmed and I was just rambling at one point in time. I, that's why I was like, you know what, forget it. I don't really want to do that. And I don't want to seem like, like I really don't know what I'm talking about. I just feel like I wasn't receiving any more messages, to be honest. And then this message is coming up. And I said that to you all. Anyways, Greens, I remind you that you your needs your your needs will always be met. You don't need to know the how, as this is her domain. You just need to trust the goddess. Green Tara will use her magic on your behalf. You are safe and secure and always in the care of the divine. Let's read, read Mama Kocha. And I'm definitely closing this out. And it says the world we inhabit began from the oceanic rivers of waters of life and the waters that surrounded us in the womb, both of which are the domain of the Incan goddess, Mama Kocha. Give me a second. I can't. I can't. Whew. 
The world we inhabit began from the oceanic waters of life and the waters that surrounded us in the womb, both of which are the domain of the Incan goddess Mama Kocha. We we are most attuned to the qualities of water as the element of water symbolically represents our emotions. Our emotions move us to make make and perceive the world as we know it. The beauty in this Truth is found by observing water in all her properties and forms. Water is fluid and passes through cracks and flaws in the ground without stress, moving around obstacles and patiently wearing away the most jagged rocks until they are smooth and gleamy. Water ebbs and flows, comes and goes in a powerful excuse me, rhythmic motion as the seas and oceans reveal their promise of release and return. I swear this is one of the most boring messages that I feel like is in this book. I'm going to be honest. I just, y'all just do. I don't know, maybe because I'm not hella emotional right now. I just feel like this is one of the weakest and most boring messages. So I'm just being honest. That's me being honest. Clear my energy, my bad. Mama coach you cool. Whatever. It is what it is. She just, it's just a boring message. Run that back. <laughs> Water rises up from the ground and sees the clouds and then rains upon the earth to ensure growth and a sustained life water turns okay we know about the water the answer to your question lies in determining what form of water reveals the conditions of your life and then recognizing the next evolution of your life's potential if you are in the ebb you can expect the flow if things are temporarily frozen soon they will, be, will melt if it seems that your world is too wet and temporary shelter is needed you can expect new growth in sunny days again Mama Culture reminds you that the waters of life are perfect as they are and now just as perfect in the way that we evolve. Unlimited potential is revealed when the goddess comes to visit. I, I just need a break. Maybe I just need a break. Oof. I'm telling you, I feel like I feel away every time I read the card. I feel like it's a full it's full of nothing. About what water does, and I feel like we already know what water does, right? It's cleansing. Moving on, that's all they have to say. That is your uh, reading, Leo. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know that in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. If you all would like more information on your personal situation, go ahead and book a personal. If not, catch me in the next one.